Hello, Africa. It's time for Moments Girls Talk. Coming to you from the fun city of Lagos, songwriter and singer Isaac Gerald is on the Moments set, and he shares his plans for the future. Actress Yvonne Jagere will keep you locked onto Ebony Life TV. With this full and sumptuous table, we talk rules of engagement. A lot of men say that they don't want that. They want yeah, to they want be the one chased. that's the, you know, the chaser. No, what, so the she didn't chase. She made interest known, basically. Mm -hmm. So they're like two different things. She didn't ask me to marry her. I proposed to her. Okay. okay. I had no idea that he had planned yeah, the proposal. Yeah. So <laughs> when the whole procedure was, I kept wondering, I want to go and sleep. I'm tired. I don't know. You can't go into the room because the cake was in the room. The ring was in the room. And then, boom. When the cake came out, they said, okay, happy birthday. And then the second cake came, we married. Okay. Get in here. It's time for Moments Nigeria Girls Talk. Welcome back to Girls Talk. With us in the studio are Yvonne and Isaac. We're going to be talking about the rules of engagement. What are the things that you should do if you're going to be dating? What are the things that you shouldn't do? How soon is too soon? When should you kiss or not kiss? To kiss or not to kiss? That is the question. And talking about kissing, when should you kiss? somebody that you've just started dating? Like, how many dates should you go on before, before that first kiss? What do you think, Yvonne? I always sit on the fence most times. Really? Because I always say, um, whatever works for you mm -hmm. might not work for me. Mm -hmm. So most times I just say, follow your instinct. Okay. A lot of times your instinct might lie to you. Yes. <laughs> When your relationship is fresh, because you know you guys are new, you're just getting to know each other, so everything just makes the butterflies in your tummy just go up and down. But in honesty, follow your instinct. So when did, when did you, when did you, you yeah. first kiss? Yeah, again. Hmm. Your husband. My husband. You were dating. I had known him for about a year. Okay. Before we kissed. Because we were, we were just, just friends. We were just friends, yes. So when he started asking me out, he just went in for it and. He's a gangster. So. He just, he's like, he's like yeah. he went in for it. He just, it was like, you know, like. But you've you known each other for a year? Yes, okay. I had. That's we had known him okay. for a while. Isaac? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> when did you first kiss He's just tapping the table. Um, be okay. honest. Response Speak together. Like, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to. Um, okay, so I kissed her like a week after we met. Okay, that's good. and um, yeah, that was a question, right? So, well, okay, <laughs> well, why are you confused? How many days? After how many days had you guys been I guess that uh, over we had we've seen like a couple of times. Okay, uh, this whole thing started from Instagram. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah. you met on on social media. I mean, we had like a mutual friend, okay. but we met on Instagram. She uh -huh. just hit me up. Oh hey. And then I noticed this one person like in like a couple of pictures and then I didn't think men noticed things mm. like that. I thought it was only, Girl, women. Thought it was only no, women that noticed they, things like that. I know that. guys who say, Oh, there's this one guy that's been liking all my pictures and then they yes. go to your page. Oh. Yes, Michelle. Interesting. Trust mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and trust me, my, my my wife right now, she was very confident and sent me a message and I mean she used my song Fall in Love and like, oh, okay, so I think you can ask me now how long it will take me to fall in love and I'm like So um, she chased you? No, no. Well in initially. Sense. Well I mean she she, she saw what she liked. She had. She went for it. Wow. So, I mean, I, like I, I probably would have just been woman. there. It didn't. Can I just ask? It didn't. It didn't put you off the fact that she was the one who sort of initiated. Oh. Because a lot of men say that they don't want that. They want yeah, to they be want the to be one chased. that's the ch you know the chaser. No. So the she pursuer. didn't chase. She, um, she made interest known basically. Mm -hmm. So they're like two different things. She didn't ask me to marry her. I proposed to her. Okay. okay. Right? She didn't, you know, I mean, of course, at, at the moment, okay, hi, hi, this, this. We got talking, talking, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, and pow, pow, there we were. Wow, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm, I'm so impressed mm -hmm. because, and I also don't have the balls to ever do such a thing. No, I'm not. No, honestly, I, I don't. Think. Yeah. I don't think I do. I mean, why? No, I, I, oh, no, but again, don't ask him to marry you. Just, no, it's not that. Just I, be, she didn't even say, oh, hey, I want to date you or stuff. She's yeah. just being nice, and then we had a nice conversation. You know what I think the problem is? Fear of rejection for most people. Yeah. Well, As a woman, nobody, I'm never nobody, used yeah, to that. No, nobody wants somebody to say, oh, thanks, but no thanks. And, and I think it'll just make you feel Michelle, like Michelle, also, I, I think it's not even fear of rejection for me. I, I can't even is. lie. I think that there's something to be said about 
a guy chasing a woman, which I mean, she slid into the DM. She didn't chase you. Yeah. She let interest be known mm -hmm. that I'm interested. Amazing. You want to come? I mean, mm -hmm. so I mean, right? that's what she said. Or she didn't go. Oh, I'm sure I said you want to go. Oh, hi, I was going on. So, so, so we had random conversations. Yeah. Very random conversations. I wasn't keeping up on Instagram because I'm like on and off mm -hmm. Instagram, and mm -hmm. so I'm like, oh hey. So well, I'm not really frequent on Instagram. She you can hit me up yeah. on WhatsApp, blah, 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 blah. I'm talking and then blah, blah, blah. No, and I'm, I think she I'm not, She initiated. Yes, but she I'm did. Saying, so I'm not really specifically. Initiating. I don't think this. I think it's great it's and it's wonderful. Initiated. But I'm saying the reason why I could never initiate is because I think that, you know, time after being in Nigeria for a while, I realized that sometimes you really, I, I need a guy to work for it. Like, yes. And I say that why? not, I say, listen no, to me. Because I, I, I say that because there's something to be said about when you work for something and you know, you show effort and input. There are some guys who I've talked to who they weren't so um, disciplined about pursuing me and they act a fool after a while. Not to say that when they pursue you and they show effort, they don't act a fool after a while. But I find that the ones who are, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm sometimes saying, hey, what's up? Before they say, hey, what's up? They well, don't know I, how I to treat me guy, properly. I think a guy who's going to take you for know. granted will take you for granted. Yeah, you're thinking either whether way. Whether or not whether or not you approach him or he approaches you. I, I agree. I have to agree with Bolan Lee because of certain situations that I've, I have seen and experienced <laughs> myself. We'll continue the conversation. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. I had no idea that he had planned yeah, the proposal. So <laughs> when the whole procedure was, I kept wondering, I want to go and sleep. I'm tired. They go, no, you can't go into the room because the cake was in the room. The ring was in the room. And then boom. When the cake came out, they said, okay, happy birthday, and then the second cake came, will you marry me? Okay. Oh. So in that kind of situation, you really, oh. if I had wanted something very private, that was very priceless. Mm. Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk. Our conversation of the day is very, very interesting. Before the break, we were talking about initiating, you know, who should do the initiating? Should it be the man or the woman? Now, I was saying specifically that I just, I've gotten to the place where I'm not really interested in initiating. And even after maybe you say, hey, what's up? You have to continue initiating for a while. <laughs> yes. That's yes. my personal opinion but, but, okay, based so on my The experience. question I have to ask you is why? Why does it have to be that way? Because why can't you just go? So here's what. Don't go after a guy and say, hey, I want to date you. Just say, hey. No, it's not a matter hey. of, hey, I want to date you. It's, she's, she's talking about, hey, oh, I'm interested. Ooh, even though hey, I or think no, but you wouldn't because go no, say, you, hey, I'm interested. No, but, just okay, say, hey. maybe, maybe what I need to do is paraphrase and say, oh, hi, what's up, whatever you like. You said slide into the DM. My issue is that when you do that, he won't pursue you in the way that he would have pursued yeah, well, you if he I don't agree. Yvonne, can you slide I don't in agree. If, before? Would you have been able to slide into the DM? No. I won't be able I don't to. agree, but anyways, it's okay. He won't okay. chase you in the well, same you're, way. You're, you're married. Because well. he already knows you're interested. Ooh. I agree with you. You men have to work to get us. If no, you don't guess work, what? you feel like I worked to get my wife, right? How? I did. I mean, it was a, there was a whole courtship period. I had to ask her to marry me. I proposed to her at my event, right? I had a concert at Hard Rock Cafe, and then, you know, I had to... I have to get people. I got praise. I got Timmy Lakolo. I got Shola Thong. I got a lot of people saying, man, I have to do this. Do you get what I mean? It's not easy. So I got everybody walk up to me and say, how did you do it? I'll just mm -hmm. say she was lucky. She met maybe who was supposed to be her spouse. So well, guess what? Partner. How about of times, people guys who won't do it? It's, it's yeah. a, a lot of times when you do that, yes, maybe the guy might, because he hasn't been there, might be nice the first <laughs> Two weeks. Because he hasn't been there. Afterwards, I'm sorry, yeah, but afterwards. Because he hasn't been there. Yes. Where? Where you know, there now. Mm. There. In the, in the third room. In <laughs> <laughs> the other room. <laughs> so a lot of times, I don't agree. I would, I would not even initiate. Okay. You wouldn't. No, okay, but you're married. I, I'm, again, I, I, I like to say to everybody who cares to listen that look, do what you have to do, do whatever works for you, but you just don't know what, what's the worst that can happen? Okay. So it, it's like okay, life. so Isaac, let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think that Nigeria is ready for women to propose to men? Oh, oh no, that's that's no. an extreme case, and I wouldn't advise. No? But what, so what, you, would you buy the guy a ring, or you buy yourself a ring and say, on your behalf, I propose to myself? <laughs> nah, but, but to be, to be honest with you, Bolan Lee, is, is there anywhere in the world where they're really okay with it? And probably in the States, people do it, Once but nobody's really okay with it. Yeah. I mean, so what, I heard the story Format, of it. But, but, but my question is, my question is, right, okay, fine. So, in, in Nigeria, we, well, I'm not going to say outrightly, you know, women are proposing to men. But there are really? a lot of women. No, women are oh, not proposing okay. to men. But there are a lot of situations where you find women who every day, so babe, 
when is the proposal happening? Babe, when is the proposal <laughs> happening? To me, you might as well propose to yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people, you cannot deny the That's fact that there are actually. a lot of men who I've, oh my gosh, I've had so many like men that. who are literally under pressure. And the only reason why they propose is because they said, man, my baby has been disturbing you for yes. a long time. So and I think that's difference? wrong. That's really yeah, wrong. And then, you know, ladies go as far as saying, oh, this is how I want to propose to, or this is the kind of ring I want, or this is the kind of blah, blah, blah. No, don't do that. You think that's wrong? Yeah. So I can't tell you what kind of ring I want. Nope. You can't you can hint? You can, you can hint. I think you can oh, hint. Tell I didn't what, tell, tell my husband. Tell me what kind of was. wedding ring you want, not a proposal ring. Because it's a form of pressure. You start to hint and say, oh, babe, I really like this ring. Crazy. Oh, babe, I really like it. Oh, I really... It's just I like literally... What if you can't just... afford the one that you want? No, no, no but Michelle, what? what? If you he thinks you're worth it, but he can't afford the big rock you that he wants. He gives you like... <laughs> 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 you make, no, you make no, one, one that's like that and he can't afford it. So, well, man, some of the rings I've been... Speaking of rings, some yeah, of the yeah, rings yeah. I've been seeing, I'm like, girl, I can't see anything uh -huh. with the ring on your hand. But what about proposal? Like, I'm the kind of person who I would tell... I know how I want to be proposed to, and I will tell you. If you don't do it, why I'll be upset. So if, if I don't so propose to you, the way you, you, accept, you want to accept, you won't say it. So, so you, you, want, you want it to be in a particular place at a particular time, the sun is setting. He yeah, so what, he takes you to Zod Milan Bridge. Like, I don't know. But and Michelle, it's, it's, about, it's about setting the right setting. Like, for example, okay, maybe I'm not going to be as detailed, but mm -hmm. no public proposals. I don't want a single camera there. I don't want anybody around. Okay. As long as it's well, something like that, that's it. kind of That's how I am. As long as it's something you? In my own case, when I was, when my husband proposed to me, I was on set, I had, it was on my birthday, I had left set to come home, shower, sleep. And I got home, I saw very, I saw some people that I had not seen before, probably not seen in a long time. And everyone was just busy bodying, moving around, trying to make sure, oh, I, ah, no, no, don't, don't enter the room, oh, just, just, just sit, stay here. Do you want Fanta? I had no idea that he had planned the proposal. So when the whole, Procedure was. I kept wondering. I want to go and sleep. I'm tired. They go. No, you can't go into the room because the cake was in the room. The ring was in the room, and then boom, when the cake came out, I said, "Okay, happy birthday." And then the second cake came. Will you marry me? Okay. Oh. So in that kind of situation, you really. If I had wanted something very private, that was very priceless. Mm. Did you? So, had you guys discussed? Had you ever no. hinted to him? I didn't even know he was going to propose. I didn't even think he was on that way. We're okay. just we're friends. That's interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Now, Michelle, I want to get your perspective on this. You know, should you hint? Should you let them know how you want to be proposed to? We're going to find out what Michelle thinks about this after this break. I go to like the shop and then I just buy all manner of things. Mm -hmm. Just be, 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 because I know that some nights I feel like conjuring some things. So I just like to so full on meals. Yeah, I like wow. to think of food. You don't stuff. get tired? No. To get to do you cook for your wife? Yes, I do. I mean, there was there was a morning that I woke up at 6 a.m. to, hey, babe, taste this. Just think it's nice. I was just like, oh, where are you again? Did you sleep? And I'm like, you know what I said, okay. Mm, it's nice. Okay, you're going to brush your teeth. I make you more stuff. Oh, lover boy. That's so nice. Welcome back to Girls Talk. We've been talking about the rules of engagement, what you should do when it comes to dating, etc. Um, before the break, Bolanley had asked what my opinion was. I don't think there should be any pressure on how he's going to propose. But like you, I would, I would ideally like for it to be in private. I don't need an audience. But if that's what he feels like doing at the time, Fine, as long as it's not like at a concert or something like mm -hmm. that, because that, that'll just well, be weird. If it's like a concert, no, but it, so. that, that was, that was your your, concert. that's your situation, so okay. you wanted to do that. But because this is for, hypothetically my situation, not at a concert, but if it's in front of close friends and family, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, a few years ago, I was very specific. I was like, I want a huge drink, and I want it to be like this. <laughs> and I want it. But if he can't afford it, then really, yeah. it's like you're proposing. You want to marry me? That's good enough. Yeah, no, and I think Michelle, like, we, just to clarify, like, it's not about, I'm not putting pressure on no, the of course ring, I know. even I though, know. you know, I like it. Babe. I would like it to be, um, like, I'd like it to be, you know, it, doesn't I, need to, it doesn't need to be like this, like, th like this size oh my would gosh, be okay, no, but you know, this particular you, size would be, this particular size. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, did you see Sierra's ring? Yes. I saw that. High engagement ring. Mm. Woo! Love. But what's with ladies and rings? I'm sorry about that. we just like jewelry, we like jewelry. It looks like a toy. Sierra's ring looked like it. It looked like all those fake toys that you used to get in like princess packs. Are you serious? It was massive. Massive. Which means it was literally Which like... Which also means that if they go broke, she can hawk it. There you go. 
All right, that. we have a question of the day, though, for you guys, I believe, yes. Michelle. Yes, we do. Thank you for reminding me, Brother and Lady. And now it's time for the question of the day. Can you describe your worst date ever? Mm. I'm trying to remember the um, worst date you've ever had. Isaac, you, you know yours. Yes, All right, go ahead. I'm trying to think. I, mean, I wish I could name names right now. No, <laughs> no of course not. Um, <clears throat> I mean, so uh, my friends actually tried to hook me up with this one chick one time, and then we were supposed to go out, and uh, she kept on just talking all sort of stuff all night. I'm like, okay. What was she saying? Would, uh, irrelevant stuff. Like what? She was, she was trying to, she was trying to be chassis. I don't know if, well, I don't know if she was maybe nervous or whatever, but she just kept going, and I'm like, can you read? I'm, I'm trying to tell you to be quiet. Let's just have a relaxed evening. It's the first time, and I mean, I didn't even want to go, but my friends kept on going, look, man, do you need to get married, and blah, blah, blah. You, like, didn't, okay. you didn't say anything to her? Like, you know, if you're nervous, night, it's okay, just, you can just chill. Oh, no, I just kept quiet, and I, I tried to, okay, let's order, and I said, okay, so, is it the last time I had chicken? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, she's, maybe like, she's just very she's talkative, never, or she's no. nervous. I'm, I'm like, take it easy. I'm like, no, this is not going to happen again. So no. you did and I mean, didn't go on a so second it was date with it her. was not even it wasn't even easy for me because I wasn't exactly attracted to her. So if it was a case of someone who was really attractive, I'd be like, okay, easy girl. So it was me just it? trying to just mm -hmm. let's just go with the flow, and then she messed it up. And all that, I just went, oh really? Oh, oh wow! I think I was like so terrible. Was so terrible. I, mean, I mean, I tried. I tried to get her to just. I, I mean, I can count like twenty words I said all night. Wow! <laughs> For you, that's really bad because we talk a lot. Yes, I do. <laughs> wow! But I then I know where to show. Yeah. So. <laughs> that was yeah. That was anyway, a bad. So day. that was my bad. Day. Yvonne. Well, I'm trying to see if I can remember any right now. But I think the only one, which is really crazy, this one is just mad. There's this guy who came over to my friend's apartment who saw me somewhere and liked me, wanted to see me. And then he, he comes over to the apartment and we're seeing and he went on and on how he likes me, how he's been seeing me on TV and this and that. And I'm like, mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> and he was about to leave. And for some reason, he just tried to lean over to maybe for a peck or a mm -mm. kiss. I don't know, but honey, his oh. mustache is smelling like Ogbono soup. Yeah. And I was like, child, no. Oh. I just need to be out of here right now. But there's nothing no. wrong with Ogbono soup, I'm no. sorry. Well, that's, that's not the point, though. See, Imagine you're coming you to see your baby, a woman for the first the time. Point. You should come making an impression. You should come. Okay. Pet. Which means that maybe so a little bit, just, just sort of me the guess for the leftover, left, leftover bits on his like right. yeah. 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 soup all over. Ew, that is, uh, you know what's funny? I can actually imagine it, it was actually on it. Oh, it was, it smells of it. Oh, ooh. look at your face. So oh I can actually, because I can, I can yes, smell yeah, it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What's kind of Ogbono mm. soup, so I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Your beard probably never smells like Ogbono. You know. Exactly. How can? How? I mean, they complain that I do too much to the beards, but anyways, that's story for another day. I mean, you have to take care of this. this you got it. Well, you have to groom it. What was your worst um, date? Worst day, I was 16. Mm. Uh, there was this really good looking guy in my church. Mm. This was actually my first date ever. Mm -hmm. um, and he, really good looking, you know, and he was Congolese, so he didn't speak English very well. Okay. Uh, this was in my church in Kenya. There were a lot of Congolese mm. people who, who went to our church. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, he kind of asked my sister that, oh, mom's going to take Bonnelli on a date. Da -da. I said, okay, fine, whatever, let's go to the movie. And we were in the movie, and I'm the kind of person, like, if I'm not feeling you, I can't fake it. Like, even when I was mm. young, I just, mm. I can't fake it. So I remember, like, he wanted to, like, put his hand around me or whatever. I was really irritated. I could barely focus on the movie. Anyway, so the movie ends, and then he's like, oh, that he wants us to go eat. And I'm like, if I have to spend two more minutes with this guy, mm. I am going to barf. Like, mm. I was so irritated by his presence. So I look at him, and I'm like, no. There's no, this date is over, like, we're done. At 16 you said that? Yeah, and I walked away. This date is over, we're done. Wow. That was really bold at 16. I, well, you know. But I, that's good, though. I just didn't, yeah, I don't want to have to, it, but it was like one of the worst experiences ever, have to sit down with someone for that long and have them try and touch you or put their hand around you while you're watching what, a movie that you actually enjoy. Uh, probably shouldn't have just gone on the date, though, but it's okay. Wow. Probably shouldn't have. 
Well, she didn't know she was 16. She didn't know. <laughs> okay, before we, before we let both of you go, we have a tradition on the show where we get our guests to share either a throwback or a celebrity secret. Oh. And even though I'm saying a throwback picture, we don't actually want a throwback picture. We want a celebrity secret. Yes, we do. So maybe you should have taken so something, the We don't care. I'm just, it's because of viewers that we're telling you. Okay. What we, we want it to be a secret. Tell us one of your deep, dark secrets. Okay, 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 Look okay. into mine dark, and tell a deep, dark, dark. secret. Something that nobody knows. Isaac, I know yours is going to be very interesting. Oh, wow. And Yvonne, I feel like yours is going to be very frisky. Okay, so. All right, there's something that I do. I didn't think it was weird until my husband mentioned it to me. When I go to use the bathroom, pardon me, mm. I am so quick. <laughs> it's like <laughs> flash woman. The, the moment I'm sitting in the toilet, it's almost, I'm oh. almost done. <laughs> oh, really? And I'm, I'm standing up almost immediately. So, so you're really quick? Yes, I'm very quick like that. I don't oh, know why oh, my system oh. is like that. But There's no husband, lingering. Yes, you know how people go in with like a it out I, think, I think it's also no, because I men think that women spend too much time in the bathroom. No, it's actually really quick. Like super fast, like yes, as fast, fast as a man yes. going Most of the time, most of the time when I feel the need to use the bathroom, I usually take my time, move around the house. Mm. So while that is going on, it's all coming together. Wow. Thank you very much. Okay. So once I sit there, it Okay, goes, I thought you were talking about number flash. one. You're talking about number two. Yes, number two. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a secret. <laughs> that's a big secret. My, my, wife would, secret. my wife would reach for that because if I go in with my phone, I'm there. But that, it's also a habit. People are lingerers. Like, there's some people who have to have magazines and stuff like that, just like to yeah. chill in the yeah. toilet. My phone. Uh, it's true. What would be my secret? I don't know. I, I think I like to cook at weird hours. Yeah. Like, you find me at... 2 a.m. I mean, I'm up most nights, so at 2 a.m. I'm probably writing a song or listening, and then I just get inspired to do something. Yeah, I've when seen you, that. Like, when you say cooking, what do you mean? Like, maybe you're frying an egg, or you're doing like, mm, like full on soup. You haven't know, oh. followed Isaac on no. Snapchat. No. Isaac like cooking cook on like soup. Do, I like to do more no stuff. I just, I just think of stuff. I, I mean, I go to like the shop, and then I just buy all manner of things, just mm -hmm. big, 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 because I know that some nights I feel like. Conjuring something, so I just like to full on meals. Yeah, I like wow. to think of food. You don't get tired. No. Do you cook for your wife? Yes, I do. Yeah. I mean, there was there was a morning that I woke up at six a.m. to a hey, big taste. This, do you think it's nice? And she's like, oh. "Where are you again? Did you sleep?" And I'm like, "No, I didn't." She's like, "Okay." Oh, it's nice. Okay, go and brush your teeth. I make you more stuff. Oh, lover boy, <laughs> that's so nice. Awesome. That's Thank so you guys sweet. so much for coming. Those were Thank great you. secrets. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. Flash for one. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming on Moments. Thank Maybe you. should come Have back fun. again. Moments was brought to you by Axis Bank W Initiative.